What's going on, y'all? It's your boy here, Apollo, from Down, Down, Up, Up, and it's time for some more rapid speed predictions. First off, hope everyone had a lovely, safe, fun-filled Halloween. I know I did. By the way, different jersey today. Go Vikings! Don't know why I haven't been wearing this more often, considering they're off to a heck of a start this year. Yes, I'm a football guy. That's a story for a different time. Moving on. Crown Jewel today at some point. Don't remember what time. I certainly won't be watching it live, but I'll see you more for some more details after the show Sunday results and review. But as long as these things are on Saturday, I got a life. That means these are getting cut. Let's try to go through this show and see what we can make out of it. First off, Women's Tag Team Championship rematch. Uh, I'm going to pick Alexa Bliss and Asuka. They just won the championships raw. Sort of cool moment to see those two win the belts together all of a sudden. When you think about full circle, how those two have come. Fighting against each other for those championships many times to winning the belts together. Cool. So now, uh, I can see Dakota and Io getting them back at some point, but I just don't see the point of the championships flip-flopping, unless it's for the sake of giving this show a title change, but no, I'm not going to fall into that, so I'm going to pick the champions to retain. Uh, OC, Styles, Gallows, Anderson, back in traction, taking on the Judgment Days, Damian Priest, Finn Beller, and Dominic Mysterio. I'm going to pick the OC in this one, to be honest. Uh, I'm hoping for this show they will have something to combat Rhea Ripley. Not sure what or who, for instance, but I'm going to go for those club boys. Also, let's remember, OC, best tag team in the world, crowned in Saudi Arabia in that tag team turmoil match. I'm thinking if WWE like to give some referencing to the Saudi Arabia shows Gallows and Anderson getting a win here would do it. So I'm going to pick the club, and we're going to see what happens. This might be a bit of a risk. I don't care. Moving on. McIntyre cross steel cage match. Honestly surprised this feud is continuing in the first place. I guess I'm going to pick McIntyre, right? We got to can this. And Cross hasn't exactly been built as his monster um, time in NXT, for example, where he'd be winning on his own. He did not win on his own in the strap match, so McIntyre should beat him in the cage. Because I think at this point, I'd rather see Drew just get the win and end this feud and move on with our lives. Gonna pick Drew McIntyre. Usos Brawling Brutes Tag Team Championship. Sorry, I just don't see the Usos losing the titles right now. I don't see it being Pete Dunne or Rich Holland. But I give them credit. They have been working with what they've got lately. And I think they are actually over now with the fans. So, fair play, boys. Just don't think it's going to happen here. Uh, one thing, though, if Sheamus does come back anytime soon, he better return with written in my face. Please. Please, let's do that. Braun Strowman Omos could not give a rat's took us about this match, so let's hope they surprise us in this. And I'm going to pick Strowman. He just came back to WWE, and also, if we're remembering Saudi Arabia stuff, he won that 50-man Royal Rumble. He got that green championship belt that we never saw again. I'll pick Strowman, right? Right. Moving on. Lesnar Lashley. Now... You want to sell me on this pay-per-view, it might be this match if it gets time. Because before the Roman Reigns interference at the Royal Rumble, those two are putting on a good banger. So I'm hoping this will follow some of the lines of that. But with a clean finish, I am going to pick Lesnar. I believe he is going to get his win back, and that will be that. Pretty much. They might even be turning Lashley heel again at this rate. Maybe we're going to get the Hurt Business back in traction. Some new members, perhaps. I don't know. Just some thoughts. Picking Lesnar, though. Bianca Belair Bailey, last woman standing match for the Raw Championship. Gonna pick Bianca Belair. I don't really see Bailey winning here if she didn't win at, in the latter match. So I'm just thinking Bianca's gonna run with it and maybe we'll do something different with Bailey for the time being. Maybe. I, I just don't see any title changes here. That's sort of my mindset for this show. Uh, which pretty much spoils my prediction for the main event, but we'll get there, we'll get there. Um, yeah, I honestly, if, if we're doing any brand warfare at Survivor Series, I want to see Bianca Belair versus Ronda Rousey. So, that also goes to my prediction there. Roman Reigns, Logan Paul, hey, I don't know Logan Paul like a lot of other people do. He's entertained me enough in WWE. He's pissing a lot of people off, which I also find kind of funny. But, uh, I'm picking Roman Reigns to retain the championships, obviously. So, I don't really think I need to elaborate anymore. I hope it's a fun match. Uh, as far as this being a show in Saudi Arabia, most of them have been crap. Uh, the last two haven't been terrible. I wouldn't say terrible. 
let's hope Triple H's standard can keep the show okay, and let's just have a fun time. I think we I can speak for almost everyone when I say we're looking forward to the later shows of this month. So let's get through November. Enjoy the show. What are you most looking forward to? What would you prefer to see happen out of this? And I don't care about Bray Wyatt and or Uncle Howdy, so I'm not even going to bother mentioning them in this video. And if there's a kickoff match, I'll pick the faces. Have a lovely day, everyone. I will see you Sunday. Keep it real.